Do you have any idea what this thing is? That is the color spritzer tool in the Stampin' Up! catalog. And I'm going to show you how to use it today. It's good for making um, projects look vintage by splattering ink. And you're going to use your Stampin' Write markers with this tool. What you're going to do is take the cap off of your brush end, which is this and not not the writing end, which is the thin end, it's the, the brush tip. You're going to slide it in to this end of the tool and try to get it so that the bulk of the about halfway in of the brush tip is against that nozzle on the color spritzer tool. And there's kind of a notch in here so that you can center it. I don't know how well you can see on the video camera, but you could, there's a notch in there to where you can set the, the brush tip right on there. And then you just barely, not very tightly, just barely screw this down so that it holds the marker in place. And then, I don't know which way is correct, I'm right-handed so I'm going to flip it over so that I'm squeezing this bulb with my right hand. And I'm just guiding the tool with my left hand. And over my paper, I'm just going to give the bulb a quick squeeze. And you can see that it ends up splattering all over the paper. Now you can get in real close and get definite splatters, or you can go out a little farther and do more of an all over random pattern. So that was Old Olive. Now I'm going to switch to Close to Cocoa. And before I switch colors, what I like to do is just take a paper towel and get the excess ink off of that tip so that it doesn't transfer to my markers. And it's probably not so important with the darker ones, but when you switch to a lighter you don't want that dark color transferring to your tip of your marker. Okay, I'm putting close to cocoa in again. I just th threaded the brush tip through this end and I'm just going to position the tip so that it's in the center of the nozzle and barely close it down with the screw and then squeeze the bulb over the paper to get the splatter look. Very cool tool. I'm going to turn it over and just do some, let me maybe get a little closer for you to see. I have to move the paper. And I love the rich Regals colors, so let me throw some of these markers in and see how that looks. This is Rose Red. Insert that in there, screw it down just a little bit, and splatter. Get the excess ink off, and switch to Taken with Teal, the brush end, thread it through the barrel, position the tip, screw it down just lightly, and splatter. Ooh, that's kind of cool. These are almost Easter colors. And then I love the Elegant Eggplant. Let's see how that looks on here. Cinch it down. And let's do, just, just for grins to try something different, let's just go in real close and give it some definite spots. Like that. That's really cool. You could do, you could make a lot of different neat things with this technique with the color spritzer tool. So I just thought I'd show you how to use it. For more information on this and many other projects, you can go to my blog at www.twostampistobe.com, and don't forget to comment on this video and rate it, and then subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.